Hello, hello, welcome to the show. Thank you, Thief Cinder, for the uh, nine months subscription. Oh, man. You caught me while I was still setting up, but thank you very much for the extended support. Continued support. Now, what's going on today? Did you guys know that I, Dash Retro, have never played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? I've never played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, or Punch-Out, for that matter. Uh, You know, the one Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream or whatever. Also, uh, also Punch-Out, Super Punch-Out. For Super Nintendo. And then there was also Punch-Out for Wii, where they remade the game. Never played any of it. Hey, dedicated to Lurkin. Uh, it is 5.54 p.m. right now. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps, Ilias. We're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna one-shot this, right? We're gonna fight Mike Tyson and, uh, and beat him. So, here's the game. Yeah. And, uh, let's, let's pop it in. And play it. <clears throat> Let's punch it in and play it. Oh, oh, my, my capture card. Uh, oh, capture, please. There we go. See, that's one of the things that I should probably take care of, you know, during the, uh, during the setup process. Oops, I think, I think I'm doing something wrong here. That's good, that's good. Okay, everything's good. Alright, 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 let's hit the reset button. Eh? There we go. Oh, that was a weird reset. Alright, 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 alright. System off, system on, then it'll be great. Yeah, yeah. There we go. How about that? Look at all that Mike Tyson in the background and all over the place. Hey, Thief Cinder, hey, Silent Crow. Ilias, how you doing? Uh, I think I said hi to Nox. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 the game booted just fine. The, uh, the, um, weird pattern is the fact that my capture card was not expecting a 240p signal. and a, Or, actually, it's a 480p signal because of the OSSC. But anyway, um, it had to think about it, you know, I had to reset my capture card. It's a Microsoft X Capture One, and it's actually like I think it's an option on the capture card whether I want to have to reset it. And the reason I put that on is because it makes it like not mess with the. It's complicated, but yeah, it is a Microsoft X Capture One. They're the same company that makes the Frame Meister. I love the capture card. It's great. It's a fantastic capture card. It's just, you know, I had to reset it real quick. Everyone calm down. And, uh, let's... Let's just, uh... Pop over to... Here. And then I hit the reset button on the NES, but the reset function of this game didn't behave exactly how I expected. So I wanted to power off, power on. Uh, you know, so that we could get the proper boot up. And here we go. Uh, now it's the game. So... Do you select on the... Whoa! You actually up, down! Okay. Whoa! Okay, anyway. Uh, let's go new. Knowing Nintendo, this is some kind of song. 
This is probably a song if you put them all together. Anyway, uh, new, new, uh, new game. Let's go. Whoa! The game just punched us in the face right to start with. Okay. What is all this now? Number two, Glass Joe, Minor Circuit. He's from the Bronx. He's 17? Or is that us? Which one is us and which one is, is they? Uh, I think, okay, we're on the left, age 17, from the Bronx. It's all left. We're ranked number three, Little Mac, New York. We weigh 107. Oh, my God, it's me. Little Mac is literally me. Except for the 17 part. Uh, zero, zero, zero KO. And we've got our dude with us. He's cheering us on. Cool. And then Glass Joe... He's a little he's got a little pink to him. Is it the is it just the blue uh background or is he actually a different skin tone where he's like really pink looking? Anyway, he's from Paris, France, Glass Joe. Um and he's 38 and weighs 110. Oh man. Okay, so what do I know about this game? Uh you fight people. I I think A and B punch. There's like a left punch, right punch. Mario is the... Alright, alright. So, if we just... Okay, that's not doing anything. But it is making the hearts go down. So that's like a stamina thing. What was he get? Do I gotta do some... Oh! Oh, he blunk! Oh, oh, he blinks! Oh, and then you counterattack him? Okay, okay. Wait for that blink. Got it, got it. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I know about the game is the music is really good. Oh, oh, does the direction of your dodge matter for, like, which... Like, if he's punching from his other fist like he did there, then do we dodge to the left, maybe? Alright, we got him. Mario is the ref. I don't know if I if we if we talked about that yet. Okay, and then he gets back up. Got it, got it. Ooh, we can pick up the pace on the punches a little bit, I think. Oh, and then the round ends. Just like just like uh just like boxing goes all right make it quick I want to retire man look how good these graphics are I mean I guess they're able to do it since like uh, oh. I guess they're able to do it since, like, uh, you know, there's not much going on. What up, Kenny Koss? A a as in, like, so much of the stage is just blank, you know? So, like, it makes sense that, like, they can get their character models to look really good. But, dude, I mean, you know, what NES game really looks like this? The arcade machine is apparently the same hardware as the NES. Oh. You know, I do know they, that they made those uh, those Play Choice 10s, you know? The Nintendo Play Choice 10, which was just like an NES in the arcade. And you just paid money for... Uh, it had 10 NES games on it. Straight up NES games, such as Mario 3. And, uh, and it's just an NES. Oh, we TKO'd him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not saying it was. I'm just saying, that, you know, it doesn't surprise me to find NES hardware in the arcade uh, elsewhere. One by TKO. That's a really good looking glove. Like, boy, visually, I'm enjoying what this game looks like. Next challenge. Let's go. Von Kaiser. From Berlin, Germany. Oh, he's 42. 
and he weighs 144. Damn. Yes, this is Mike Tyson's punch out. This is not punch out featuring Mr. Dream. All right, all right, so we got another guy here. So is he gonna, oh, he blinks too, okay. Ooh. Do we gotta like dodge him more than once maybe? Okay, and then down is like a... Oh, you can hold up and punch him in the face! Oh, dude, you can punch him in the face! Oh! 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 I don't know what the- I don't know what the, the stars mean. But we got him. Maybe I- Oh, 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 uh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh. You know what? I, 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 uh, I forgot to read the manual for this game. Well, I just tried- I wanted to pause the game! What the hell was that? Start is like a special thing? Oh go Oh god. I wanted to pause the game. Oh, now the round is over. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. What did we learn? What did we learn? Start? It looked like it used up my stars, and I did like a fucking dragon punch? Um... So, okay. So we got stars, uh, and then we used the stars by pressing start. So maybe select is pause? I don't know, I didn't, I didn't try it. Um, <clears throat> you have this game? I only got this game a few days ago. Alright, alright, Von Kaiser. So what does select do? Can we... Okay, select does not, there's no pause. This is the Dark Souls of NES boxing games. Ooh, if you get the rhythm down, you can really... Oh! Okay, 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 like when he like spits out like that, there's like a moment that like I gave him another punch after a little delay, and I got another star. Oh! Oh! He... He's got a, a, a dragon punch too. I put it in the combo, did you see that? Now that only used one of my stars. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. One step closer to Mike Tyson. I like that my gloves uh, turned white. Okay, okay. I won by KO. I'll be ranked up to... No I'm number one now. Oh, but this is the minor circuit. Oh, okay. Next challenge. Oh, the title bout. Let's go. Piston Honda. All right, all right. From Tokyo, Japan. Oh, so his name is Honda Piston. We haven't well, uh, gained or lost any weight, apparently. Um, all right, let's do it. Oh yeah, Little Mac is something that I knew before also. Look at this fucking guy, he's huge! Dang, this game's graphics are good. Oh, okay, he gives you like the eyebrows. Ho 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 ho! Oh, 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 he's doing more than one! Whoa, stop it, dude! Okay, what do you do here? Do you, do I mash buttons? It said get up, okay.
it almost... Oh. It almost seems like you get stars by, like, sneaking in hits during, uh... During other times. Hey, Bran Flakes. You know, it was like... It was like I, uh... I punched him not during his weak point, and it, like, it starred me up. Okay, apparently the stamina is, like, a uh, posture in Sekiro, where, like, if you completely run out, you're only out of it for, like, a second. Oh, look at that! Did you see that fist going right towards his face? I don't that's a little insensitive. Dude, we got this guy's number. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Du oh, dude! The Italian guy in the arcade version is called Pizza Pasta. Oh, I also heard that the Japanese version, um... So, there, I, I know that there's a boxer named Soda Popinski. Like, Soda Popinski. Uh, but in the Japanese version, his name is Vodka Drunkovsky. I think? Maybe I just need to grow a backbone and learn and learn to, to play along with the insensitivities. Oh, dude, I noticed that like... Dude, the, the alternating left and right punches was not doing anything for me. But, uh, I started giving him only rights. Just give him the right hook over and over again. Mmm. Destroyed him. Pretty sure his mother felt that one. In her grave. Oh, man. Yo. <clears throat> oh, uh, I don't know if we need to write this down. I do like that it's like a phone number. But, I mean, all, all you gotta do is, like, uh... All you gotta do is just beat the minor circuit again, right? To be able to get this far again, so we're probably fine. Don Flamenco. Profile. Profile? We're the- oh, now we're in the major circuit. Dude, we've already- we've almost beaten the game. The ring is green now. What color are our pants and shorts gonna be? I mean, shorts and gloves. Shit, I just kicked his ass. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, mm, mm. All right, all right. Here we go.
Nobody told me this was a rhythm game. He can't take it! He can't take it anymore! Put this guy down! TKO! TKO! Woo! Woo! Oh my god! Look at this nonsense! Oh, oh, he didn't know it hit him. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got King Hippo. Uh, from Hippos Island, South Pacific. Have I watched this on AGDQ? No. I didn't know that this was like a... Uh, no, I've never seen it on that. <laughs> Mike Tyson better prepare for my ear bite. Yeah. His age and weight are unknown? Who is this guy? This guy is some kind of genetic freak that, like... That, uh... Oh, blindfolded! Yeah, okay, I didn't see it, but I've seen, like, on YouTube, there was, like, a... There was... Oh, this guy... Oh, this guy wants it in the stomach. He's got a bandage on his stomach. Don't think I don't see that. Ooh, okay, okay. I probably gotta hit him on the side that it's exposed, right? Oh, dude. Oh, whoo! Alright, alright, King Hippo, alright. Oh, I keep hitting him on the wrong side. I keep thinking it's the other side that's gonna be exposed. Ooh. Oh. Oh. We got romped. Okay. Don't cry. Oh, never ever don't uh, why oh oh don't don't just tell me the solution to the puzzle. This is my first time ever playing this game. I only get to ever play this game for the first time once. Don't take that away from me by just giving me the answers. Get out of here with that. All right, all right, let's get him. Hey, Adrian. Okay, so it was like, there, oh. oh mm, mm, mm. So we're trying to get him in the stomach on the side that it's exposed. But that does not seem to be the case. So maybe, oh. Yeah, dragon, that is. That's actually just how the NES works, but most of the time on most people's captures, you don't see it because they cut it off. Uh, I think there's something I can do to make that stop happening also. Like, also usually like the, if you use like a frame meister, that gets it to, uh, or that, that makes it go away. Um, I think frame meisters get rid of it, but the, uh, the OSSC does not get rid of it, but I heard that there's an option that you can change to do it. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, what I really should do is... You like my new trunks? They're size XXX large! Ah! 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 
Oh man, uh, we haven't heard anyone else say anything. I don't think. Oh, like what if we, yeah, 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 I think I'm, what if we punch him before he punches, you know, because he has like a long wind up. Oh, like that. Oh my God. Then we get him in the stomach. Oh, I think we've cracked it wide open. Oh, didn't get there. Oh, that's right, that's right, Glass Joe did say something. We'll be ranked down to number four. Or, is that, but then if we, oh, okay, okay, we just gotta get this guy again. And we're four and two now. Okay, so let's remember how to fight this guy. I think this was the guy that we just destroyed. He's got a rose in his mouth. After how badly we kicked his ass before, He's gonna dance around like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, dang. I feel like this guy is the easiest yet. Unless there's like a Battletoad situation going on, where, like, maybe I'm supposed to be fighting this fight in a certain way to, like, get me a bunch of stars or something that I can carry on to the next fight, but I doubt that stars carry over. I think, I think that guy's just easy. All right, King Hippo, we've got your number this time. We punch him in the face before he punches. Oh, but not when he's blocking his face! Oh, I get it now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sometimes he blocks his face. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, what am I doing? This is... Oh, okay, okay. Yes! Oh! Oh! We got him! We got him down! Oh! I like that his pants fall down. Oh, it's with the knockout and everything. We did it. We've done it. Ugh. Oh man, this game, this game kicks ass so far. Oh shit. Let's go. Okay, Great Tiger. That's him, Great Tiger. Is that a... Is that... Does he actually have a tiger back there? Or is that just a tiger skin? Just draped over the turnbuckle nonchalantly. Oh, oh, his hat blinks. 
How insensitive is it that I just called it a hat? I don't know. Oh. Okay, just give him one. Uh, just one. Oh, but when he dragon punches, really let him have it. Okay, 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 this guy's like a combo. You gotta combo it. Like, uh, like you're, well, well, it, it's like a, a interrupted combo. You gotta know when to stop punching him. I'm surprised I haven't been punished yet for always dodging right. What the fuck was that? I punched, uh, I punched the air. <laughs> oh, I have purred long enough. Now hear me roar. Oh, I like that. I like this guy. Look at that bulge, too. He just teleported to the center of the ring. No, no, make him stop it. Oh! You time your blocks with down. It's just like Sekiro. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh. oh, I blew it. Quit it. Maybe you don't block. Oh, oh, I bet you can dodge. You can probably just dodge them all. Dang. You can probably dodge them and not block them. Uh, give up? Retire? Where's no and no? I guess, I guess that's it. We gotta start again. Okay. There's, there's a, a major thing that I forgot to do. I started an NES game without reading the manual. Just give us a moment. Uh. Yeah. Get that down a little bit. Okay, okay. Let's find the manual. And take a look. Nintendo. It would it be under M? Yeah, Mike Tyson's punch out. View manual. And now let's find it for you guys on stream here. Unfortunately, I don't just have it. But here it is online. So what do we got here? Okay, okay, okay. Before the game. Oh, before the game. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, I can barely read this because it's far away. Zoom it. Zoom this bitch in. Why is 95 the highest it'll go? Give me 100. The manual is scanned. Oh, that's DPI. Got it. Okay, what if we, uh... 
control plus this bitch a few times. There we go. There we go. And you guys can see that? Beautiful. Okay, okay. So, what do we got here? Uh, there's... By how to play, I think that means... Oh, here we go. During the game. So we got dodge right, dodge left. Down once is block. Twice rapidly ducks. I see, I see. And now we got body blows left and right. You also... Th oh, A and B are all that matters to get back up. I've also been circling on the D-pad. Uh, punches to the face are up on the D-pad. Uh, select. If pressed between rounds, Doc's encouraging advice can increase max stamina. So you press select between... You have to press select between rounds to get your health back? Okay. Uh, let's see. Hang on, let me check up on chat here. Try to remember the basics of Punch-Out. Yes, yes. We're learning the basics of Punch-Out. Oh, there's Mike Tyson. There he is. Uh, pass keys. Little Max match record and circuit level are saved with the pass key. WVBA rules. A match consists of three rounds, each of which is three minutes long. A boxer is knocked out if they don't get yada yada yada. Uh, oh, if you knock him down three times in one round, that's what total knockout means. Okay, gotcha. The referee determines the winner according to match points if time runs out. Watch out for unfair hometown decisions against Little Mac. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And here we go. We got number of hearts, number of stars, match points. Hang on a second. I didn't read. The okay, so start is uppercut if the number of stars is one or greater. Right, right, right. Okay, so stars. Uh, when he scores an effective punch, a star will appear on an opponent's head, and the number of stars will increase by one. Mac will lose one star if punched by his opponent, and will lose all of his stars if he gets knocked down. Gotcha. And then you can have a maximum of three. Okay, okay, okay. Stamina meters. It'll go down if it drops to zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of recovery depends on the count on which they got back up. Ah. Once in each match, Mac, Little Mac can receive advice from his trainer, Doc, and get a stamina boost if the select button is pressed during an interval. So once per match, you can do that. Okay, okay. Match, po uh, match points are won when Little Mac punches his opponent. Uppercuts and effective punches are the greatest number of match points. Got it, got it. Gosh, what more is there to say? Yeah, why don't you just tell me what the dialogue is? Ah, the opponents, I see. Bald Bull. Did we get to that guy? Was that the guy that kicked our ass at the end? I don't remember his name. I don't think it was that. Oh, it says right here. Or, no, it kind of says. King Hippo's weak point is his body. You can knock him out with body punches if you can make him drop his guard. Yeah, yeah, we figured that out. He's the tropical chief. Okay. Oh, it was, it was Great Tiger that defeated us, right? Yeah. I think so. Anyway, basic technique. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, it turns out that there's it turns out that there's a lot for him to say uh, about this game. Oh, TKO is technical knockout. I've always thought that TKO meant total knockout. Like uh, I thought that it meant that your opponent was literally unconscious. Huh. Um but all right, it, you know, they're unconscious, total knockout. That's what I thought that it meant. But okay, okay, more of your punches will reach the opponent if you aim or he's not guarding. Little Mac won't be able to punch when he's tired, which is when he has no hearts, and his opponent will immediately start punching. 
dodges punches and recover hearts. Little Mac's left punch is a little faster than his right, but it's not quite as strong. Interesting. Now, if we go back to where it described hearts, do they say that? Mac can punch whenever he has... Is this the loudest song ever? Is that what's happening? It's pretty loud. All right. Little Mac can punch whenever he has one or more hearts. He'll lose a heart each time his opponent blocks or dodges out of the way uh, of one of his punches. And will lose three hearts if he's punched by his opponent. When it goes to zero, he's too tired to punch, he'll change color, and must avoid punches by dodging or ducking, not by blocking. I see, I see. Okay. Ah, oh, the dialogue may be a helpful hint to winning the match, they say. Huh. Oh. Yeah, we defeated Glass Jaw without even pun Glass Joe without even punching him in the jaw because I didn't know you could do that at that time. Uh, let's see. It's compliant with FCC regulations. That's great. Dodge opponent's punches and then punch back immediately. You'll startle your opponent. This is your chance. Punch furiously and you should score. If your opponent comes up on the count of one after you've knocked him down, go with an uppercut for a sure knockdown. If your opponent comes up on the count of one after you've knocked him down, go for an uppercut for a sure knockdown. Okay, does that mean like he come he came up uh, like too soon, and so he doesn't actually have his stamina recovered at all? Maybe during interval. Use the advice of trainer Doc Lewis to your best advantage. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really been reading it. I Oh, dude, the manual? Look at this. The memo page of this manual that was scanned. Somebody actually wrote a uh, code in it. I wonder what that code does. Do you think that it brings it to Mike Tyson? Alright. That's the manual. We've done it. We now know the basics of CQC. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, new game. Oh. Okay, so this time we're going to punch Glass Joe in his stupid face. That's right, read the fucking manual. You can just punch this guy. punch this guy like with barely any strategy at all but if you wait for him to punch like that then you get a little bit of extra oh so he came up on two so what if we just fucking uppercut him what up flex We did it. We only have 10 seconds. Oh, here we go. Nah, see, thi this is exactly when I needed to save my uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I needed to, I, I, I should have saved my uppercut because he got up on the one right there. Dodge his punch, then counter punch, he says. Watch the jaw. I, I like that Mario is the referee.
Oh. Oh. Hey, we did it. All right, all right, I got my star. So now if he gets up on one, we're gonna blast him. That's what the manual told me to do. Got him. That's TKO, right? Yeah. Poor Glass Joe, man. All right, all right. Von Kaiser. I don't really remember this fight very much. Is this... This might have been when I discovered you can punch in the face. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I wonder if you get him really low. Oh, here we go. Oh, God! The manual lied to me! Kind of. I just, I have to time the... We got it. You just gotta time it, that's all. You don't just uppercut him out of nowhere. You uppercut him out of nowhere. All right, all right, all right. I, th I yeah, that, that went pretty well. Oh, it's the minor league title bout. Dude, this game kicks ass so far. Oh yeah, this was the big guy. He gave me the crazy eyes. Right, ex I would- You know what, Crow? Lit- Actually, I was thinking about the RKO when I said it. These first few guys are a lot of just dodge them and punch them in the face. Oh, here we go. We're gonna uppercut him. What? There we go. That's... That's cool. See? See? I'm glad... I'm glad we read the manual. If they get up on one, you give them the dragon punch. Yeah! Ra total knockout round one. Did we kick their asses or what? You gotta get in the spirit of things. Oh right, it's technical knockout. Everyone knows that except for me. All right, all right, let's go. Don, Don Flamenco.
Gotta get that rhythm just right. Oh. If they stop the fight while the guy is getting punched and isn't defending themselves. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how I'm like having to jump off of the ground to punch this guy in the face. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. See, I thought TKO sounded better, but that that makes it sound like it's worse. But it's kind of better. It's dominant, you know. But so is the other thing. I don't know. KO sounds better now. You made them go to sleep with your fists. Rather than... You just knocked them down a few times. Oh, oh! No! No! Wait, when he jumps around like that, we know that he's going to do his face hit. Okay, okay. His defense is too tough, Doc. Don't give up, Mike. Make him close his big mouth. Big mouth? Come on, Doc. Teach me more. I have my weakness, but I don't tell you that, that, that. Kind of sounds like his weakness is his big mouth. Oh. Dude, he makes a sound. When, he, when, when his mouth is open, it goes like, meh. It, like, makes a sound. Yo, a sound cue sounds way better for this. I'll use my eyeballs to see when he's going to punch me, but I'll use my ear holes to know when I should punch him. That's the strat for King Hippo. I've got it for next time. All right, great tiger. I'm pretty sure this is the guy that beat me last time. What was the guy that I kept punching with my right fist instead of my left?
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hi, Chance. Oh, oh, he's doing this again. I get it. Okay, I get it. Okay, so here's the deal. You can block his shots if you time it. You can't dodge because you just get hit. You probably have to duck though. Like I was doing the, I was doing, or, uh, I was doing the blocks before the blocks with the timing. I bet though that if you duck. You can dodge him. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got it. Now I want him to do that attack again. How do we have 77 hearts? Okay, let's go. Oh, here we go. It really seems like I'm just supposed to block the shots. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, okay. You think I should punch him during it? I don't know. I'm not ready to try that yet. But I mean, the thing is, there's only so many actions that you can perform in the game. And I don't imagine that there's any parts in the game where you just have to take damage. You know? So, that's a conclusion that we're going to have to come to at some point. Damn. The game told me that it's just A and B that you have to press to get back up. But, uh... But I feel like the D-pad might do something, too. You think I need to block them? I'm not looking for advice. It... I, uh... I want to figure these out, you know? I think... Oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, jeez. I think when he blinks his blinky, you just hit him once. But then when he does that, that's when you hit him until he gets knocked back further, because then he's going to follow up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's all right. I'm not ready to accept that you just have to block those hits, though, because I'm not ready to accept the idea that, you, that there's guaranteed damage, you know? I think that there's something else to do. Okay, you, you definitely seem to get hit. You definitely seem to get hit if you try to duck, just like if you try to dodge. So yeah, really the only remaining thing to try there now is to try to punch him, you know? I'm gonna press select here. Oh, I swear, he became more more encouraging with his padding when I press select. I think that might, that might be the thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you're doing it right away, huh? There's something to that, okay. So it seems like if I'm getting hit, it's just boom, boom, boom. You just keep getting hit, you know? But... If you block one, it, like, makes it pause for just a moment, you know? 
it gives you like the freeze frame. Wait a second. If you... Okay, I have another idea here. It kind of seems like... If you just sit there holding block... No? Okay, never mind. Like, if I'm just holding block... <sighs> oh, okay, okay! Oh no. Oh no! Foiled again. For sure, Flex. However, uh, both times so far that somebody has told me something, and I've said, I'm not, you know, I'm looking to figure it out, they've been like, oh, sorry! So that's good. It seems people do understand the idea. You know what I mean, like, there's a lot of games where if you tell somebody that you don't want tips, then they just argue with you about what a tip is, you know? And that's where it gets frustrating. Dude, the audio cue thing there is like, that's the, that's the game, you know? It's all about that audio cue, whoo! That's big. I feel like playing games with earplugs in uh, would be, I, I, I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna be crazy and say would be as difficult as blindfolded. That's a crazy thing to say, but I, you get my point, though. Oh. <laughs> Playing Emerald for the first time, didn't know exactly where to go, and someone told you even though you said not to because you were wandering around like a dumbass sheep. You see, oh, and then they were wrong about where to go. See, here's the thing that people don't understand. Is that, like, sometimes a re it's a really important part of learning a game to wander around for a while. That's part of the game. Like, that's how you learn what the world is shaped like. That's how you, like, p get it into your memory. You know, like, the shape of the world and everything. Because you see things more than once. You see things from multiple angles and all that because you're wandering around. And it, like, builds the map in your head. And that's a huge part of learning how a game works. <laughs> also, a lot of the time... Uh... Right, what it- Oh, oh! Okay, I've got the mechanic figured out. If you just hold down block, he starts to kick your ass. You gotta do, like, the Pokemon Stadium Metapod minigame with him. Where you only block when you need to.
See, but like now I, th I feel like I'm screwed. Oh, he didn't take me out though. But yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, if you think that somebody should be doing a certain thing in a game and they're not doing it, you might just learn something. If you just watch, you might just learn something. They're gonna do something you've never seen before. Oh yeah, I loved that mini game. Right, that two flex, yeah. We did it, by the way! I beat him! I beat that guy! One guy would get so excited telling you what to do, and then he would try to take your controller, and you start fighting, and your mom tells you to turn the game off for the rest of the day. Yeah, uh... I feel like I didn't have that particular issue. Because, I mean, the thing was, I played games either by myself or with my brother most of the time. And by with my brother, I mean usually... My brother and I would usually be playing two different games. Uh, you know. I didn't very often have the single-player um, watch, uh, game-and-watch experience, you know. I get, like, the only time uh, would be, like, we were... Yeah... Flex and I did that with some games, but uh, but yeah, yeah, eventually we just had two two TVs next to each other, which I believe was all you, Flex. I would have never thought of that, you know. But one day, uh, one day you just set up a di a second TV, and I was like, oh my god, it's, it's genius, genius! All right, here we go. It's the bald bull. Look at this fucking guy. I feel like this is the biggest guy yet. Alright, alright. Oh! Oh, he gives me the parry shuffle. The Purdy Shuffle, that's it. Oh, he's got an uppercut. Okay, okay, okay. Making kissy faces. <laughs> doing oh the conan sketch with the new improved sonic like sonic the hedgehog or like sonic the restaurant sonic do you mean like the movie thing oh oh quit it what if we just have to punch him? Dang. Oh, okay, that's the end of the round, I guess. Did I not get all- Okay, hang on, he's doing this. We hit select. Oh, now he's really giving us the- the- the shoulder pat. So... Oh, that was a lot of stamina. Got him. Okay, okay. 
so far this guy doesn't have much of like a puzzle, except when he starts doing his wacky stuff. Oops. Oh. Okay. Ah, dang. Oh no. Look at he's he's teabagging us. He's teabagging us and making kissy faces. Oh my god. Screw the duck hunt dog. I want to connect a zapper and shoot that fucking guy. Oh! Alright, alright, alright. We got this. Let's go, dude. Speed running through the first two ranks. And let's go. Dude, this game kicks ass. Holy shit. I always knew I would like this game. Last Joe is like, I don't even get it. You can just punch him. Oh, oh, shit. Well, it's like, it's like a training dummy that trains you wrong. As a joke. Because nobody else in the game fights like this. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like, um, I'm a very retro guy. I mean, I don't want to just keep fighting the same guy over and over again. If I die a few times, I need to freshen up, you know? I need to sharpen my skills a little bit. I need to re-climb the ranks. If you can't beat World 7 of Super Mario Bros, you know, you don't just warp to World 7, you gotta play Worlds 1 through 6 again. Hone your Mario jumping skills. Who? We didn't get him in one round. Stick and move. Stick and move. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> that's like, uh... That's like when you hit once, and then dodge kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I what I thought it meant, right? Like hit and run. Wake and bake. Man, I like Little Mac and Smash Bros way more now, now that I've played this game. Oh yeah, I looked at the manual earlier. I don't know, Flex, it's like it's telling you when you have control. You know what I mean? I'm just giving this guy the right hands. The manual told me that the right hands are stronger, but the left hands are faster. So if I can just combo right hands, maybe that's the way to go. Ah, uh, but dang, I don't have a... 
I don't have a, uh, I, I don't know how to reliably get... Oh! I don't know how to, um... How to reliably get stars, you know? Oh my god, he does. Now I'm gonna be staring at his weird bulge all the time. But yeah, I don't know how to reliably get stars, but once I figure that out, you know, then we can... Then we can take them out when they do the one count get-ups, you know? The one count... Uh... Stands. Whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Alright, alright, here we go. Oh, there we go. It's like sometimes at the end of a combo, if I can get one more punch in, it gives me a point. Who's Dave Meltzer? Was that one? I didn't see. I think it was. Oh, yeah. See, that's how I'm getting all these technical knockouts. Done it. I love it. I love the, uh, our, our pink training suit. And this, like, earthbound ass perspective here. Look at that parallax scrolling of the ocean. That's a great looking NES scene. All right, Don Flamenco. So I had an idea today. What if you took an NES controller, like the board? You know how when you press buttons, it's just like, it's just like pressing a conductive pad? down onto a circuit, so it's just like shorting a circuit, you know? What if you just replaced that circuit? Or you replaced the conductive pad pressing down to sh complete the circuit. What if you just replaced that mechanism with a mechanical key of like a keyboard? So like, what if you took some keys, you made like a little mechanical keyboard essentially that just had eight different keys on it and you literally wired them to the board of an NES controller to make it so that you had keys instead of buttons on something that just plugs into an NES and is an NES controller but it's keys, right? And I was like, wow, that sounds really, I thought about it, like, that sounds really cool. That, that would be a fun personal project to do, to have a keyboard NES controller. But then I realized that uh, that wouldn't stop you from pressing left plus right, and then so it wouldn't really be valid to use in most games because of the weird left-right behaviors. Ex well, exactly. See, that's the thing, Ilias is it took me, like, three hours of being really excited to figure that out. Oh, 
But aren't there circuits? Can't you get like a spe- or make like a special circuit that doesn't do that kind of thing? Hang on, I gotta listen. Like, can't you get a circuit where it's like, if this is pressed, it's closed. If this is pressed, it's closed. And then if they're both pressed, it's only one of them. That's probably something you can get together. Some kind of weird electricity thing. You can probably get to do that. Whoa! We just got him. I wonder if he ever gets up. The music in this kind of reminds me of Zelda 2. Like, it just kind of sounds like it's using some of the same instruments. This guy's jaw looks really good. Like his jawline from the side shots. It's just like some fucking top tier pixel art, you know? Bombay. I didn't notice. I swear, every time the round ends, they're, like, about to get you, you know? A kitten is no match for a tiger. Dancing like a fly bite... B dancing like a fly bite like a mosquito. Why are you... At first, you're just describing something, and then you're telling me what to do. It's kind of weird. That's a weird sentence. Fucking, uh, uh, uh... Uh, d d Doc, uh, uh oh, this joke is taking too long to complete. D Doc, fucking. Da, da, is it just Doc? Is it just do I swear he had a name. I swear one of these things they said his name was like Doc something. All right, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Doc Lewis, I think that was what it was. I swear you're actually, I swear it was Doc Lewis sounds absolutely correct. Now we got to find it. Now we're going to find where it said that because I think that you're right. And the only way that I would, the only way that that would be, oh, 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 during an interval, use the advice of trainer Doc Lewis to your best advantage. All right. We got to the bottom of it. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that what he's saying, right? He's not saying dance like a fly, bite like a mosquito. He's saying dancing like a fly, as if he's describing what you're doing. But then he says bite like a mosquito, which is a command. So uh, it's like a compound sentence, but the first half of the sentence is incomplete. Or the first sentence in the compound is incomplete, you know? I'm just, I'm, I'm very confused. I'm, uh, frankly, I'm a little upset.
Oh! Okay, okay, I got that. So you block it, but you gotta release the blocks. You gotta do it correct. And then... And then he goes down in one hit when you do that. I I can't help but look at everybody's camel toe now. Is it always four? One, two, three, four. All right, I think that was TKO. Yeah. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> okay. <coughs> it's not actually better yet. All right, bald bull. Moose Knuckle? This guy I thought was very similar to the previous guy where when he does the purdy shuffle you just dodge it and hit him once but then when he does this you get a little bit of a combo on him. Okay, and then after you get three combos on him, he does a, a, a different uppercut. I got it, I got it. <laughs> Dude, the alias is because Lil Mac is unstoppable. He's an anomaly. He transcends weight class. See, now he'll uppercut again. One, two, three. Now he uppercuts again right away. Look at that. Ah, uh, how did he get me with that last one? He's just stalling. He stalls. Hi, Opie. Uh oh. Oh, God, there's a cat on me. I fully blame the cat on that. Ow! Ow! Holy shit, your claws are sharp! I'm just gonna stretch and dig my claws right into your crotch! Hi, Opie. God damn, who doesn't clip your claws? Hmm? Huh? It looks like it's a brief, oh god, a brief Opie time. Okay, okay, hang on. Flex is like demanding that, uh, that this clip of Conan be, be witnessed. I don't really have a scene for this, so here's this one. And our show is one of his first stops. This is the new 
an improved, redesigned Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get him out here. <laughs> <laughs> the censoring doesn't do anything. Hello, <laughs> Conan. All right, all right. We we got the <laughs> It's pretty funny. That's it. Uh, hang on. Let me. So let's get to what I was trying to do. There we go. Eh? Yeah, I've heard I've heard of that like flossing dance being a thing that's in Fortnite, but I don't know if it's from Fortnite. It's hard, you know. It... Yeah, I don't know. It might have been from that, though. A teenager created it, and it went viral. And he got invited to a bunch of talk shows because of it. This flossing dance? Huh. Well, there you go. Someone made a dance move. That would be pretty exciting if that happened to you. You make so you make up something stupid like a dab, and then it gets uh, and then it gets all it gets super popular, but like in like a way that well dabbing is funny because uh, because it's like a it's like a heel dance move you know it's great it's no poppin'. We're not sure how long this cat is going to demand these pets for, but, uh... She will receive them for a little while. Here, hang on, hang on. Let's make sure... There's no video game content on the stream right now. We gotta get the content here. There we go, there we go. Now we're... Now we are, uh, adhering to, to, to Twitch guidelines. Camo frog? Oh, this right here? That's like a so that's like a stuffed uh, lizard that has um like shiny bits on it and uh and I I got it uh as a kid at Disneyland, I think. I want to say it was at Disneyland. It was like a stuffed lizard that was all shiny. And, uh, and I thought it was really cool, um, and I really wanted it. And my parents got it for me. Awesome, I have this cool stuffed lizard that I liked. Years and years later, uh, of, of uh, like when I moved out, I don't think I took it with me. But then years later, I was thinking back to Demon Souls, and like crystal lizards in Demon Souls, you know? And I was like, hang on. I used to have a stuffed lizard that looked just like the crystal lizards from Demon Souls. And uh and then I retrieved the stuffed lizard from my parents' house. 
Because now, basically, now I have a crystal lizard at my house. That's the idea. What you missed is, uh... Opie came and, and, and sabotaged my fight against Bald Bull. So now we're rewarding her for that. Alright, are you ready to just calmly sit here and enjoy some video game action, Opie? Oh, no, you're still, you're still changing positions. This cat always, like, rolls and flops into a really uncomfortable looking position and then, like, squirms out of it seemingly angrily. It's like she looks really comfortable, and then she, like, tries to, like, so sink even deeper into her comfortable position and ends up just, like, folding her body and, th and, then, and then gets up and has to readjust again. And it's like, well, see, now you're not... Just don't do that again, please. Please don't jam your sharp-ass claws into my crotch anymore. Thank you. I think we narrowly avoided that one. Yeah? Opie, why can't you be one of those cats that just like lays down on my lap and then and then that's where you're at for the next two hours? All right, all right. We're about, oh, you scare me every time you stretch like that. We're about ready to get back into it here, I think. Yeah, go go explore over there. Look, the monitor is not on the uh not on that that the monitor isn't on that computer anymore. You could go sit on that computer tower cuz there's nothing on it right now. You could go dominate that thing. You can't usually dominate that thing. This cat needs constant movement. Constant movement. Constant motion. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Yeah, laser. Oh, thirty one. Holy shit. Boogie with the 31 months of support. Thank you so much. Oh, man. One of the oldest, oldest uh, subscribers around. Holy shit. We're actually getting towards three. We're getting towards three years. That is insane. Thanks so much for never losing that streak. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. All right, all right, all right. Let's try and beat this guy while this uh, while this cat randomly whaps me in the face with her tail. No, uh, affiliates only get up to two year badges, or is it one? Uh, no, affiliates only get one year badges. Oh god. Oh right, we get knocked back to this guy. Well, hey, I I got my Mario Warpless PB with Opie walking around on my lap, so uh, I can beat this guy with it. I tried to get cheeky there. I'm just gonna give him all right hands, right? What's Coke Gaming? It's crazy how many people I see in those gaming chairs. It's crazy to me how many people have those things.
Got him. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I've never sat in one before. For all I know, it would change my life. Look at that shot. <laughs> this chair changed my life. I don't think it could get any better than this chair, though. I don't think there is a better gaming chair out there than this one. Oops! Alright, alright, let's go. If the camera's shaking, it's because the the cat just jumped on top of the PVM. Opie, I don't I don't know if this fucking forty dollar Amazon rack can handle a, a a cat's worth of extra weight on it. When I got this rack, I'm pretty sure I planned for it to be a temporary solution for this PVM. Now I'm kind of worried about it. Um, yeah, see that's... Right, the, the, the price difference is crazy. And then, yeah, I, I definitely feel that uh, that's exactly the reason so many people have them and why they're so expensive is exactly because of that, like, uh, what do you call that? Um... Uh, I mean, it's marketing, but whatever you call that, where it's like the, just the idea that it, it's, um, right, it is the marketing, but there's like a more specific word that I can't think of, but anyway, t to give that idea that to be a real streamer, you know, you get one of those chairs. Oh yeah, Flex is always telling me to get Double Dragon. I don't really like beat em ups, but Flex insists that I would like that one. Yeah, I, I really don't like the term influencer. Oh, he, he paused longer than I expected. Dang, I, I tried to block the last one, I guess. Um, double the fuck dragon pussy, yeah! Papa D Dilla? Dia? The new Papa Dia from Papa John's? Oh, dude, the Papa John's next to my house, um... 
the the uh, the Papa John's next to my house closed. Ah. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I'm flustered. Hi, Season Salts. Yeah, what... What the bot said. This is a blind run, so I'm not looking for people to just give me the answers. So I'm a little flustered now. Flex, can't you delete messages? I don't expect you to be, like, heavily monitoring chat or anything. But if you're there to put the command in, you could also... I think you can just delete messages, right? Yeah, there's some kind of drama surrounding Papa John's because apparently their CEO is a weirdo. Okay, yeah, you just... Oh, you punch him in the stomach. Man, see, this is the thing. That would have been so exciting when I figured it out, but instead it's like, oh, I guess that's what you do. Okay. So yeah, please, please, let me figure stuff out. Here's the thing, let me, let me put it to you this way. If anybody's watching about that. Um... Yeah, yeah, uh... The thing is, there's only so many actions you can take in this game, right? Alright, let's put... We're putting this out there. This this is the idea about the, the no spoilers or backseating thing. There's only so many actions that you can do in this game. And so I'm gonna figure it out. When he was doing his special charge up a bunch of times, here's the thought process, right? This was my action plan. First, I was dodging him a bunch. And it was like, okay, if I do that, he just keeps going. So I dodged him a few times to really let it sink in that, okay, yeah, you just you don't just dodge him because he'll never stop. Okay, so then my next attempt was let's try to duck instead of dodge because ducking hasn't been a thing that I've been required to do yet. So let's try to duck it and we'll see what happens. Got hit by that. If you don't duck or dodge then you probably have to hit him. I did already try punching him in the face uh, earlier on, but it didn't work. I was going to try it again, though, just in case I wasn't good enough at it because I noticed that it's like four hop sounds, you know? Uh, and, and so I would have had better timing for, for my next attempt at punching him in the face. Um, but it wouldn't have worked, apparently. And then, like, the only option left after that is to punch him in the stomach. So that's what would have happened. And it would have been really, really exciting. So, if you guys will, uh, I would very much appreciate um, not just being told that stuff. Because th it, it was having a lot of build-up to, oh my gosh, that's what you do. And then that's exciting, you know? But instead, it was a whole bunch of build-up to... Oh, okay, yeah, that... Sure, it works, yep. Um, so that's the whole thing. That said... Uh, if anybody does see any spoilers in chat also, do me a favor and... Um, if you're... Uh, if you're a mod, try to get rid of it. If you're not a mod, go ahead and just freak out in chat. For a second, type something in all caps or something just so I know not to look above your message. That's all. There's got to be a code. There should... Give me a... Give me a, give me a bunch of Miku dooms. So I, so I know not to look above. But now we're on this guy again. I, 
I had already looked at that point. If I, if I, uh, that, that's true. Right, right. Actually, that's, that's a better option, what Flex said. Just put in the blind command, if you see it. And then I'll know not to look there. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So you were right on it as far as the, as far as that command goes, gotcha. So you don't have the moderation icons on your chat? Where like next to each message there's like a little, there's like a little but like a little trash can button that, that just deletes the message? In channels where I'm a mod, there's like a little trash can next to everybody's, next to every, uh, Oh, I, okay, so if you, if you hit the gear, you know, like the chat options, there should be like a show moderation actions thing. There should be an option called show moderation actions that you can turn on. I think I, ch no, this is Twitch level. I, I tried this without extensions once and it worked. I'll try it again though. Just to, just to make sure that I'm not being an asshole right now. As far as, like, telling somebody to do something that's impossible. Okay, here we go. Incognito Twitch tab. We're getting to the bottom of this. All right. That's fine, Flex. I, I, I don't expect you to always be paying attention. I'm just saying that for when you do catch it, it's a lot faster, I think, to be able to click on the little delete that message button than it is to to type out a command. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm right about about the thing. So let's get. Oh, you do see it. Oh, okay, great. Okay, cool. Anyway, so yeah, that's the thing. If you're a mod here, feel free to get rid of messages that spoil game mechanics. If you're not a mod, just throw that blind command in and then I'll know. Alright. Let's try and refocus. I forgot to get Doc's advice because I forgot where we were. But that's okay. We just won't we just won't die here. Let's refocus, re-energize and get going. Ah, yeah, I punched him twice. Oh, by Doc's advice, I mean I forgot to press select. I meant I meant Doc's encouragement. You know, that like refills your stamina. Oh no. Yeah, the manual said it. See, and check it out, check it out. You know that it works, too, because he's like, rah, 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 rah. But then you hit select, and he's like, yeah, 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 you know. Boom. But it, uh, the manual also said you can only do it once per round. Or one, not, not per round, once per match? I think it was 
once per match. <laughs> I, yo, you guys are like, you, you guys are underestimating the power of a little bit of encouragement. Maybe it's not even Little Mac necessarily, but. When I see Doc Lewis really pumping up, I get excited. We did it. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ends well, all's well that ends well. Profile. Just profile. Alright, alright, alright. Here's this guy again. I think I've beaten this guy, right? Now I don't remember. No, I don't think I have. Oh, I was too early. Oh! 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 And now it's a quick one. All right, all right, all right. That should be their slogan. You mean it's not? And then he gives me another one. But this is the third one, so now it's a quick one. Whoop! But the quick one lets me hit him five times. And then we do that. It's end swell. Okay, okay. The cold metal thing. Oh, hang on. Oh, too early. I quit thinking about Enswell. Oh, shit! Okay, what? It's the metal thing they put on fighters' faces to mitigate swelling between rounds. I've never seen that or heard of it. It wasn't in the Zoolander parody scene when they were having the walk-off, uh, and that's all the experience I have with boxing. Actually, I have seen Rocky, but I don't remember whether it was in Rocky. No, I've like I I've seen like a fight in MMA, but I've never like watched it, you know. Like I've never like watched the whole production. Oh, that was almost too early. Got it. Got it. Ah, uh, that was too late. I feel like you either get up right away or you don't get up. This fucking- I just wanna kick him right in the nuts. Alright, alright. <clears throat> I 
We gotta, we gotta up our game here. We got, we gotta chew through these earlier dorks here for a second and get our game up. Wait a second, I think I get it now. Oh, I get it now. He's either... Oh god, that's that, that's so slow. Uh-oh. It seems like with this guy, you just want to, like, punch what he's not defending, you know? But, uh... Oh, okay. Maybe I was just being a little bit too fast with it. Okay, and then when you... Ah, uh, I get it. You just gotta, like, kind of give it a second. Do, 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 do. All right, all right. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to his uh to his health there. Where'd Opie go? Oh, right, she like jumped up there and stuff. Oh God, I didn't realize that we were back up. I gotta focus a little bit better here. All right, so that's the second knockdown in round two. Did they ever put this on like Game Boy Advance? I feel like this would have been a big Game Boy Advance uh, kind of thing. Cause like not, you know, Game Boy Advance had like the NES classics. Do you guys remember the NES classics? I know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they remade the game for Wii. But on, on, on GBA, they had those, that like NES classic series. Uh, I think Castlevania was one of them, I want to say, Flex. I'm almost sure. Which is kind of weird because that's a Konami game, but I, I, I swear Castlevania 1 is on Game Boy Advance. And the cartridges are gray. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you could play this game in Animal Crossing. I had a friend who I think said that was the first that was like how he beat this game. He didn't have this game for NES, but he played through and beat it on Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'd be interested to see some MMA. I don't want to see any bones break though. I know that that's like a freak thing that rarely happens, but still. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, I just thought about it. You were telling me about Ken Shamrock just fucking up a guy's ankle because he didn't tap out right away, so he was like, all right, pfft. Yeah, I don't want any shit. Ah, I don't want to think about it anymore. Holy fuck! Let's just try and fight this guy. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, stu stuff like that will, like, uh, just, just, oh god, it'll just ruin, it'll just ruin me for a while. Oh man, I was watching Jerma's stream last night, Jerma985, and, uh, he was, like, showing a bunch of community-created stuff, like, a bunch of stuff that his fans have made, and, uh, one of the things that somebody made was that- uh-oh. Okay, I started dodging him a little bit. One of the things was that, like, someone made, uh... They were taking scenes from Spider-Man with Willem Dafoe in it, but, like, CGI'd Jerma's face onto Willem Dafoe. And it was, like, creepy how good it looked. Like, that shit has come a long way. If somebody was just doing that for shits, it's crazy to imagine, like, how well they can probably do that in a Hollywood movie soon, you know? They're gonna be able to start making movies that are, like, starring, uh... Well, I know that they, like, de-age people already, right? But pretty soon, they're gonna be able to make even more Star Wars movies with, uh, with fucking... What's-her-face in them? Ca Car Carrie Fisher? What's her name? What's Leia's name? What's the actress's name who plays Princess Leia? Okay. It's something... It is Carrie Fisher? Okay. We did it. Each audience gets to pick their own stars. See, now we're getting somewhere! Soon movies will just be video games. If you would like Bruce Willis to go defeat the bad guys, press A. If you would like Arnold Schwarzenegger to stay home and do his taxes, press B. Movies with DLC. Dude, I heard that movies are getting patches now. I heard that the, uh, Cats movie had a patch. They patched it. I forgot what it was that they patched about it. Yeah, yeah. Video games and movies have always had a big hard-on for each other. And not always. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, so this guy, it seems like you can combo him infinitely if you give him the right, left, right, left. I see. But yeah, did you guys hear about that? That, uh, that movie Cats, apparently they, uh, like, the, the original showings of it were slightly different than if you go to it now. I, I wish I could remember what they actually changed. That's hilarious, Flex, with the, with the rocky, uh, 
thing. That's, okay, that's like Metal Gear Solid level, what you're saying, Voogie. The, like, that's like something that that Metal Gear Solid kind of already does, where like a cutscene will have multiple different uh, camera angles. Oops. I gotta listen to this guy. You can see the actor's real hand. Oh, God! Oh, it's terrible. But yeah, DVDs that had the option to, to do multi-angle cuts. That sounds, yeah, really weird. What if there was like a... What if there was... See, now I'm just describing a video game, basically. But what if there was like a detective movie... And the movie was shot with multiple angles, and you could, with your remote, like, change what angle you're watching, you know? And you would only see cl the clues to put it together if you, if, if you were using the right camera angles, you know? Oh, dude, that sounds awesome, Flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Slipknot, uh, yeah, like a live DVD where you could choose your own... Like, which of the different angles are you watching? That's like, um... That's like, uh... Put, when you're putting together the camera angles on the venue track of a rock band custom, you know? It's like you're just... The camera could be at any one of these people at any time, but you're just picking which, you know... Uh... Which angle. Disaster pieces. I remember you having that DVD. Um, it had it had like a stop motion uh, music video for Wait and Bleed that I thought was really cool. I gotta get some more water. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking it was like a uh, Chucky kind of, but I don't know. I've never seen Chucky or Puppet Master. All right, all right. Here we go. This guy. Hey Jimbo. We're getting this. Yeah, what I've heard about Chucky, it sounds like a good movie. Or, sorry, Child's Play. Yeah, I wonder about that kind of stuff. Like if you're if you're writing a movie that's like some kind of psychological thriller stuff thing that's like are they the killer or not? I wonder if um if that type of thing like not back in the time that Child's Play was made, but like I wonder if nowadays the the idea would be like 
it's been done so many times that I wonder if a writer would feel like pretentious by making it mysterious, you know? And instead it's like, nah, just... Just tell him what happens. I wish this game had a dick punch. We got it. We got it. Yeah, Flex, like, depending on the kind of movie, um, like, sometimes, like, a, sometimes, like, a dumb slasher scene can be fun, and, like, that's the point, is that it's just kind of fun, you know, but that's not, like, a legitimate horror movie, you know, when it's like that, it's, I, by legitimate, I mean, like, I don't think that movies like that are supposed to be legitimately scary, you know, they're just fun. I have not seen, uh, I, I've not seen Jaws. Some animes that show the same events from a different point of view. I like that. There's, like, that Simpsons episode where first it's, like, uh, Bart's day, and then it's, like, the same day from the perspective of Homer, and then the same day from the perspective of someone else. I remember that episode being really funny. That's the, I think that's the one with... Inflammable means flammable? What a country! Alright, bald bull. Hey, Ban. Oh my god, you have a bald bull emote? One, two, three, and number three. One, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, no, he did it too early. Oh, I just, I was not. We can do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. A lot of people can't, Jimbo. I appreciate Flex reminding people. Ah, geez, okay, so I think you hit it on the third one. Third one, two, three. Oh god, and then I forgot. Okay. Oh jeez. Flex is on a tear today. Uh, but seriously, Jimbo, a lot of people can't. And the reason that he's telling you that right off the bat is because there's already been several incidents. Uh, fuck. 
four of them. Four of them. I feel like some of the punches have, like, different sounds that they make than others. I wonder what, like, the subtle difference in information that it's trying to tell me is. Okay, I hear it. When it's, like, a really chunky punch, you can punch him again. And when it's not a really chunky punch, you can't. You know what I mean? When it's like, then like they're they're stunned, you know. But when it's just like, Bop! okay, okay, good first round. A Bobo's Big Adventure. Uh-uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Getting my teeth punched from it. Oh, you're playing Piranha Plants? I played a little bit of, uh... I played a little bit of Piranha Plant when he came out. I thought he was, uh... I thought he was pretty fun to play as. So I'm at the point now where a lot of these guys, I'm like, I'm figuring out, like, here's how you do it reliably, you know? Like, I feel like I'm figuring out all the safe strats. Whoops. But by replaying and refighting the guys and stuff, eventually... I'm gonna have to find the, uh, the fast strats, you know? At some point I'm gonna start finding, well not just fast, but the strats that like get you stars and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, there'll just have to be some, some random discoveries that will, uh, kinda unlock all that. <laughs> I don't mean with people. What the hell was that? Oh, that was a sound effect from a game. Yeah, here we go again. I know, I appreciated it, Flex. Uh, this is... Yes. This is Fight... Yes. I was gonna say the name of it, but it's a spoiler if anyone hasn't played Super Mario RPG. Music spoiler, though! This is the last fight. Nah, I'm just kidding. The fight against Smithy. Oh, OP. Ba, ba, ba. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, that ga that game's got so much great music flowing through your ear holes that uh, you'll have forgotten all about it by that time. Oh, Opie's giving me love bites. She just gave me a little love bite on the hand. Let's get another one. I saw you think about it. She's giving me licks instead now. Give me one of them love bites. Oh, I thought she was going for it. Alright. Hopefully she'll just stay here for a minute. Right, right, right. Sometimes when you when you offer a nice hunk of hand meat, you know, they'll go right for it. With some, yeah, with some cats, yeah. When you're petting them and they're really liking it, they'll just kind of, they'll just kind of give you just the tiniest little chomp, you know. And then, and then you, from my experience with love bites, it's always just a little chomp, and then, and then they, uh, and then they, uh, and then they give you some licks after. Mm -hmm. She just did it to my knuckle. Have a good night, Chance. Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, his profile is just profile, which um, I keep I keep noticing that it says profile right here and thinking, does it say that on all of them? But it must not because I'm only noticing it on his every time. All right, here we go, bald bull. Here's number three. So now it's a quick one. Got him. Okay, okay. It's like on his third bounce, like when he lands the third time. Wait a second, I think we did it, that means. Nice! I think that's the first time that we've beaten that guy. Oh, yeah! Hey, Emily! I'm doing very well, just playing this game for the first time ever. I like these punch-out emotes. Wait, though, why is the Statue of Liberty's... It's nighttime, but I would expect the torch on the Statue of Liberty to be... lit up, you know? Maybe this is the future, and, uh... In the future, they... They get rid of the, uh... The actual flame, and they just make it part of the statue. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, Emily. Wait a second. Piston Honda? I'm very confused. Okay, it does say profile, just profile on this guy.
Yeah, you know, I feel like if Ghost looked less cool, then people would probably like him more. <laughs> but instead, they look so cool that everyone expects more of them. Oh! Oh! Sir! Sir! The quotations on profile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I keep noticing it like it's like it's supposed to be a joke. Oh right, you're supposed to mash buttons. <laughs> I forgot to get back up. Look at this beefcake! Oh my god, he's giving me the eyeballs. I like I really like that they do it to you. Not the um not the uh uh not little Mac. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I I I keep losing track of my sentences but it's like it's kind of like the dog and duck hunt you know which i already made that that analogy earlier but uh but it's like little mac falls down and then and then the beefcake comes up to the camera and like flexes to you it's pretty great okay let's try this again So this starts out the same way that it did before. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, okay, man, I, I, I really gotta, um... Oh yeah, mash buttons! <sighs> Ay, oi. I feel like the real punch-out is starting. Oh, jeez. Sounds good, Ban. Thanks for stopping by. Dodges punch, then counter punch. I remember our first fight. I'm gonna pay you back. Banzai. Banzai? He, isn't he from Tokyo? I thought Banzai was a Chinese word. Yeah, I don't know, when people are, uh... Oh, 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 my gosh, I, I... Dude, I forget that that's a thing. Yokozuna was built from Japan and did the bonsai drop. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, bonsai is... Uh... Very, like, spellable with Japanese characters. So maybe it, yeah, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I just thought that I, yeah, it, it just, it just must be. Maybe I should write down the passcodes this time. Glass Joe though, 
It's like you just gotta kind of... I, you go so early, because, like, he takes so long to hit you. Oh, yeah? That's a thing? Alright, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Giving him all rights. Oh, jeez. Right, and it's like a... Yeah, 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 there's like the tiny tree thing. Is that a... Is that a... Is that spelled differently? It must be, I guess. Well, there you go. The, uh, the, the questionable stereotypes of this game have ended up teaching me something. Yeah, those tiny trees. I think that's aw that stuff is awesome. It lo they look really cool. Oh my gosh. Joe. Have a good night, Ban. Thanks. My day was quite good. Good Monday, you know. Woke up for work. Did my work. I've got therapy on Mondays. Had dinner, and then I'm here. Oh my god, actually, though, I bit into a... I bit into a burger that had mustard on it today. Oh! Oh my god. I went to Culver's, and I got mustard on my burger. It makes me think, like, I shouldn't order burgers with only ketchup on them anymore, because I feel like, I feel like for some, for some, uh, restaurants that's too difficult of an order to want one topping. So, like, instead I just need to start ordering everything just plain and just put my own ketchup on it. Or just start eating burgers without ketchup. Because honestly, burgers are like just as good with or without ketchup. So, I might as well just get them plain. That way I won't confuse anybody. Hey, Pizza Farts. We sure did. He did half a push-up and lifted ten cotton swabs. Is that from something? No, I, I, I get my Baconators with no mayo. Oh, oh, something's happening. We can't pause the- I don't think that this game is pausable. But we will riff out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dang, maybe you are just supposed to block those. It's so hard to... It's so hard to, um... Dodge them left and right. Yeah, dude. I, I, uh... I remember downloading Crystal Mountain to play it on Phase Shift. And it was just like so much more fucked than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so he gives you five and then an uppercut? I don't know, Pizza Farts, I tried all the buttons. All right, we need the encouragement. Oh, I didn't read. I keep it. This is a thing that's difficult about streaming games is um, all of the time between rounds, I spend uh, reading chat and or talking about something stupid. And I'm not actually listening to what Doc Lewis has to say because I'm too busy reading chat instead, you know? It was like, uh, there was this one time. Three, four, five, and then he does this. Oh, but I was still too early on my dodge. Um, but yeah, 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 I, I, I am finding a lot of time to talk to chat, though. Right, exactly. It's like, uh, Super Mario Bros. is, like, really fun to, um, speedrun for that same reason. Just because, like, the, you get so many breaks in that run of waiting for level transitions and stuff that you have plenty of time to, like, talk to chat, take a drink. Uh, but anyway, it was so sometimes though the the in a in like a blind run the talking to the the moments to talk to chat can be harmful to your like learning. There's this part in Wings of V where um, there's like these these platforms that uh, that are there. That, there's like three blocks that block your area that block your exit off to the right and then one of the same kind of block in the middle over a pit so it's like you have this big pit that you can't jump over with a little block in the middle of it and then these three blocks of the same type over on the side that you can that you can exit the room from and from the side that you start on you hit this little thing, and it sweeps across the level, destroys the thing in the middle, and then takes away the gate, right? But this is a mechanic that's already been established, where you hit the thing, and it sweeps across, and it takes the bricks away, right? And they're usually just blocking the entrance. This time, though, you're supposed to hit the thing that sweeps across, and really quickly jump onto the thing in the middle before the sweep gets to it, so that you can jump off of it and make it with enough jumps over to the gate before the sweep gets to that, breaks the, breaks the bricks, and then you're out of the room. Awesome, that's how you do it. But, because this is like the third room, that, or the second room that has this sweeping mechanic uh, established, and you didn't have to do that before, I was watching someone play it, who they, every time they hit the thing, they didn't realize that it was a race, and so they would hit the thing and then look over at chat to read chat and talk to people while the thing went across and wiped out the bricks. And then they're like, oh, now time to look back and try to make this jump that's impossible because you're supposed to do something else. And it's just funny because, like, it takes so long, so much longer to understand the, the platforming puzzle 
when you're not watching the thing go past and seeing the platform that you need get destroyed, you know? Because, like, just that, that idea of, I hit the thing, as a streamer, I hit the thing, I have five seconds to look at chat and, and talk to people before I need to look back to try to do the thing, you know? Um, and so, yeah, yeah, it was just, uh, it was just interesting. Um, okay, my, my phone exploded for a second. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> oh, oh, let's, uh, oh, uh... <laughs> oh, let's go. Man, F Flex had the the whole the big square all all ready to go. I did. Your aunt friend can get you the mini kitchen aid stand mixer. I'm not exactly sure what it is that you're that that you're describing. Kitchen aid stand mixer? I don't know what that is. Uh that shirt, I got it about the same time that I got the um the sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all my sub badges are different Nintendo controllers. The the one to two months is a NES controller, and I kinda like that one the most. See you later, Pizza Farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy. You just give him the old left, right. Why is why is my phone still going off? Oh my god. It's making me nervous how much it's going off, like something's wrong, you know? Mm, no, nothing appears to be the matter. Oh yeah. I'm a, I'm a brick boy. I like the idea of the bone, but the A and B buttons are angled the wrong direction. They do have the uh, the convex buttons, though. I was gonna say, Flex, you've been talking about how much you like the convex buttons of the Super Famicom controller. I think you already know this, but in case, did you know that Game Boys have the same style of A and B button where they fit right in a brick? But they have convex buttons. Yeah. So if you really wanna uh if you really want smarties, no. If you really want sprees for your A and B buttons on your NES bricks instead of Smarties. I wonder if the bone controllers have the same buttons too though. They probably They probably do, right? Oh. Oops. I pressed the Oh. Man, I just like I just mashed the 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 D-pad weirdly and so I dodged instead of punching his face. He was in Captain N. What was Captain N? I, uh... 
I've heard that name before. But I don't actually know what it is. Also, I feel like I missed something earlier in chat. <clears throat> all right, all right, this guy again. It, w it was a cartoon? I've never seen it. I've seen, like, bits and pieces of, you know, the Super Mario Super Show and, like, the Legend of Zelda show. And then, not that this was Nintendo, but the Mega Man show and the Sonic the Hedgehog show, you know, all those old things, right? And then a little bit later, there was, like, the Kirby show... There were two episodes of the, uh, of that Donkey Kong Country show, but I have never even seen, like, a clip of Captain N. I would expect Captain N to be, like, an assist trophy in Smash Bros. or something. It probably already is. Maybe it was Ilias, I don't know. I remember watching the first episode of it when it aired, and then like never seeing it again. Maybe it, maybe they just changed air times or something. Or maybe the network that I watched it on just only aired a couple episodes. Horsehead, horse, like from Zelda 2? The... Beware my tiger punch! Yeah, dude, some of the kids' shows that I've seen recently... ...are... ...pretty offensively stupid. I try, you know, I try to have an open mind. Because, you know, I'm sure adults thought all this stuff. Like, like if, you're, if you were an adult in the 90s with kids, Pokemon was probably the stupidest thing you've ever seen. You know? Pokemon was probably just, like, unbelievably stupid. Because it's the 90s and you're an adult. You grew up in the eight seventies, you know. So like, I try to have an open mind with kid stuff. But oh my oh, some of it is just you just can't tolerate it. I don't know why I've got this pride thing against blocking for a long time. I definitely liked Pokemon for the first, like, season. I, uh... I <clears throat> my brother and I had the game. Uh, we had Pokemon Blue. And, uh, and, like, shared a save file on it, but he's... You know, four years older than me and de definitely was the one who made all, like, the progress. I just, like, walked around and leveled guys up. Uh, when I played, but, uh, but we had the game, you know, and then the, the, when the se when the show aired, season one, you know, I loved that. I never got into anything after that, though. I don't think I ever saw anything past the first season, or at the very least, anything past Kanto region. I didn't even know what Kanto region meant. Until years and years later, when I found out that, oh, they go to different regions, huh? And that's, like, why there's different Pokemon? Have you guys heard of Temtem? There's, like, an MMORPG now that's, like, just like a Pokemon MMO. 
Oh. Whoa. I just had a moment. I just had a moment that I'm going to have to explain to you guys after this fight. But thanks for the host. Yeah. Okay. When that little thing, when that notification popped up, the thing is, my notifications usually have, like, a little picture. Oh. Just stick with the game I'm playing until I beat it. Uh, I usually have a few games going at once, but yeah, I don't usually... I try not to not finish a game. Uh, but like right now, the other games that I have going on, I like to have a turn-based game going on, like an RPG, something like Final Fantasy, or uh, really soon I'm going to be playing Shin Megami Tensei, the first one, and then Dragon Quest. You know, I like to have like a turn-based thing going on, and then also like an action game going on, right? Uh... Right now, so right now, besides this game, I'm playing Tokyo Mirage Sessions. That's like my, uh, that's my, uh, RPG. And then I might be starting Code Vein at some point. Due to popular demand. But yeah, I will, uh, I don't see myself not finishing this game. Code Vein, it's like, uh, it's a Souls-like game that is very anime-ish. Weeb Souls is what a lot of people call it. Oh shit, I beat that other guy and, like, didn't even celebrate. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh! Okay, what I was saying a minute ago is that my host alert used to have a little picture that came up to the right, uh, or that came up to the left of the, of the text, you know? And when it came up, I took the picture off, and so, but just to the left of it was the little Little Mac coming out of the bottom of the screen, and I was like, whoa, since when is my host alert Little Mac? And then I noticed that it was Jimbo hosting me who has been established to be a, a, a big suit Punch-Out fan. And for just a moment in my head, I was like, whoa, somebody can personalize the host alert that they give to other people for like a split second. That was the level of stupid that was going through my head. And then I realized, oh, wait, that's just Punch-Out is just on the screen and Little Mac is there because that's what the game looks like and it just happens to be next to it. Oh, jeez. Anyway. The Trilogy of Rage, one after the other. What is, what is the Trilogy of Rage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes I, I impress myself with, um, with just the, the level of stupid things that, that I occasionally think. Ah, Ninja Gaiden. Dude, 
I was watching someone play Ninja Gaiden for NES the other day, and it looks really fun. Uh, I would I would like to play that at some point. Who I was seeing play it? It was uh, it was Popo. It, I wasn't watching Popo actually play it. I just saw a clip of Popo playing it. Oh shit, I needed the encouragement. I needed to invoke encouragement. We're just using it. Oh no. Three, four, and then it's the punch out. Ah oh, shit, I was too early though. Okay, okay. So it's four jabs, then it's two uppercuts. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. And then another one. One, two, three, four. Uppercut. Oh, but I was too early ag er, again. Yeah. Let's go. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can get the encouragement. All right. I've never heard of Arcus. Okay, okay, yep, yep. Oh, dude, you don't need much mashing in Contra one. Wait. No, you do. <laughs> you want the spread shot. I was gonna say once you, once you get the machine gun. But it's all about that spread. It's got a good spread! One, two, three, four. Uppercut. Oh, I was still too early. Oh, you don't block that, you dodge it! Oh. Mario, slow down! Fuck! Oh, I was so close that time. We have like one more continue, right? Yeah, alright, 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 alright. Let's go.
Uh, uh. Oh, he was weird that time. He did it weird. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Thanks, Doc. Oh, thanks, Doc. I'll give you a TKO from Tokyo. That's a good line. Three, four, dodge it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! ah! So many things. Ah! He punched me too many times. I, this guy is so weird and hard! Oh my god. Alright, we need, we, we need the encouragement. I have not seen a Tyson fight, no. Alright, 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 let's go. Okay, okay. I did hear, like, about some kind of crazy record he had. Oh, that was the end of round three. I was just going for the big punch. We won by decision! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, get fucked! Oh, dude. We won by decision. Oh, yeah. Oh. We'll take those. They call that the Stinger. They don't, uh, they don't let you use that no more. Oh, hey, it's Soda Popinski. Notice the bottle clearly labeled Pop that he is drinking from. I was meaning to say that entire fight um, that I was not expecting, like, a re-fight, you know? Like a like a, a guy who's, like, fighting the same guy again. I, I, I did not expect the game to do that. And it was way harder the second time. Moe is, like, the funniest character on The Simpsons. If not, I do really, really like Mr. Burns also. I'll be back in a couple minutes. I, in like a minute. I gotta go to the bathroom.
Yeah, what's the deal with Joey? Joey, get on it. Oh, it's bu Joey's bugged. Hang on, hang on. He's he's crashed. We got to reboot him. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. All right. Whew. Okay. Let's go. It's time for Soda Papinski. Oh, I should... We gotta... We gotta get this Final Fantasy music out of here. There we go. All right. And then, uh... The... Oh, Heavy Devi? It's in March. It's in March. Yeah. All right, we gotta... We gotta power up. Power up! Hey, look, I'm even wearing the same shirt in that clip. Let's go. Oh, I wonder who I did the best in classic mode with. Look at this fucking guy. Look at the size of this guy's body. Whoa. 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 Okay. All right. Oh my god. Fuck! I like how old-fashioned this guy is. This guy is like an old-timey bodybuilder builder looking guy, though. Oh, right. The technical knockout. What is that? What is that, uh... Uh, laugh sound like. Oh, it sounds like uh, when you game over in Zelda 2. Not to bring up Zelda 2 twice in one stream. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The game over. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. I gotta get these timings down. Oh yeah. That stuff's great. You got- I- I love it. You need a little encouragement from the enemy laughing at you sometimes. All right, we got rocked by Soda Papinski. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe Soda Papinski is like a normal-sized person and Little Mac is just tiny? All right. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it might be time since I've been meaning to do this recently to play some multiplayer Nintendo Switch? Would you guys want to play some Smash Bros or Mario Kart for Switch? 
That's not something I've done on stream before, really. At least not since Mario Kart first came out. And it might be fun to, to do that. Because three and a half hours of Punch-Out, I think, is pretty good. Like, uh, I feel like I, I feel like I really got my feet wet here. But yeah, maybe we can turn on some Mario Kart and see if anyone wants to play with us. Eh? 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 I think we shall. So... If you'd give me uh, five minutes to transition over to the Nintendo Switch, I will be back then. Stick around, but thanks for watching Punch Out for now. I like this game a whole bunch, and I uh, I plan to play it more soon. Yeah, it's like a joke.